In 2007, Sally and I flew into Calgary to meet with 11 people that we thought would help us to plant Springs Calgary and to grow it over the years. They all did, but only two stayed with us. Today, what we see here at Springs is amazing. And it's all because of people like Peter and Gail. You know, life has stuff. And each of us will go through our time of graduating to heaven to be with Jesus. But I'd like you to hear this amazing woman's story as she went through a time of watching her husband go to be with Jesus. We were married in October 1967 in Regina, Saskatchewan and began our married life in Winnipeg. We were blessed with three beautiful children, a son and two daughters. We were very happy. My husband Peter and I first came to Springs in 2001 after being invited by a friend. And from the first moment we stepped through the doors, we felt like we were at home. Several months later, we had the opportunity to move to Calgary for work. We were of mixed emotions as we were going to be reunited with two of our children who had previously moved to Calgary, but we were leaving some of our family, friends, and our church. Of course, we looked for a new church, but never settled into one. It just wasn't the same to us. Well, imagine our surprise when six years later, the rumors were true that Springs was coming out to Calgary. We were so excited. At the time the church first started in Calgary, our grandkids didn't go to church on a regular basis as our daughter and son-in-law were in search of a new church. The grandkids enjoyed spending weekends with Peter and I, and Peter thought, well, if they're with us, they might as well come to church too. So we brought them, and they loved being in kids' church. It wasn't long before the little ones were asking, Mom, are you coming to our church today? And it was through this that our daughter and her husband also started coming out to Springs. This church has become our family. It was where we planted ourselves and we did whatever we could to get involved. But it wasn't until May of last year when I would truly come to know just how much I needed my church. Peter, my Pete, passed away. You see, for the last two decades, he suffered from congestive heart failure. And on the 20th of May, 2013, from complications following open heart surgery, Peter went to be with his Jesus. I was in shock. I was heartbroken. And yet, despite the unknown, despite the fact that I had lost my best friend, the peace of God that I've experienced during this journey has been overwhelming. And what's interesting is that since Peter's passing, no matter where I go, I always get the greatest sense of peace when I walk through the doors of this church, my church. Am I lonely? No, but I am lonely for him. Am I sad? Sometimes. But the miracle of serving our God is that you never lose the people you love. He keeps them fully alive in a beautiful place called heaven and then one day reunites you with them for eternity. The thing that overwhelms me about church is that we point the way to Jesus and people make heaven. I'm helping Jesus build his church so that other families like mine can be guaranteed that they'll spend forever together. I can't see any greater purpose for life than this. Peter and I have always given to this church that we love. It's changed our lives. 
So I'm asking you to please give to something eternal, give to something bigger than yourself, and together we will see thousands come to know Jesus.